was Jesus really a Lord? Now, if he was meant to be um, the only one of his era, the son of God, then why have we got, see here, 787 other lords? And also lords with questionable past. I can't say it's true or not because I wasn't there. But a lot of allegations about certain lords connected to paedophilia. We have the Lord Mountbatten here. We have Lord Fiona here. Fiona Wolf resigns as Westminster paedophile ring probe chief after losing confidence of victims. It says the lawyer and Lord Mayor. Then we have the New Year Honours former Lord Mayor. Fiona Wolf becomes a Dane. Tricky year for a solicitor. So she's not a lawyer now, she's a solicitor. What's the difference between a solicitor and a lawyer? Is there one? And what does it mean to solicit? Solicit, solicitor, soliciting, it's the same word. Ask for or try to obtain something from someone. So you're trying to get something from someone to solicit. Accost someone and offer one's or someone else's service as a prostitute. When a prostitute is caught on the street, um, charged with soliciting. So a solicitor, soliciting, or solicit, is all of the one and the same word. Why would we put one of the greatest men to have lived in all time and meant to be a saviour to us all, why would we call him a lord? When there are, by fact... 787 sitting members of Lords in the House of Commons. And here is the House of Lords. As you can see, they support a particular colour. And when you pray, and you are asking to be pray, if you think of the word pray and pray, it's not much different in the sound. So how would your higher self distinguish which one you are asking? When you put your hands up and you say, I pray, my Lord, here's who's answering your prayers. And apparently, Lord means energy sucker, to suck one's energy. So here's the house of Lords that you're praying to. When you think, you're praying to Lord Jesus. So when you pray, thinking you're praying to Lord Jesus, you're in fact giving all your energy to Lords and Temples. A really good example of a picture of a lady praying, saying, I am pray, I am pray. And here she's praying up to a naked baby, I assume is meant to be Mother uh, Mary with a baby Jesus, a naked baby Jesus. I'm only assuming, I'm not 100% sure. But this lady is praying up who to she believes is her Lord. Why a naked baby? Why are we asking to be pray? Pray, submitting with our hands, already tied by a rosary chain, calling to be a slave to the House of Commons. I pray my Lord. So as you can see, here's her chains of slavery. She's already given her hands up to say I'm here. I pray to you, my Lord. I am pray to you, my Lord. I am here for you to salvage. I am here for you to rape. I am here for you to pillage. Because I am your prey, my Lord. And because we don't distinguish that our subconscious mind is also part of us, we end up confusing ourselves and willingly giving ourselves up as prey. We are consenting with our hands up, rosary train, slave chains around our hands, asking, willing, consenting to be prey to the House of Lords, because they are the living members of Lords. Why would there be so many Lords if Jesus was a Lord? I thought he was the Son of God, just him one. But there's 787 sitting members of Lords in the House of Lords. Would Jesus be sitting here if he was alive today? Thanks for watching, Janine.